Hi, this is Lika. Welcome to Lika's Lifestyle Shift. Now, today I'm going to be talking about something in my ex that I haven't dropped anything on yet, and that's food. So, nutrition. Now, there are some misconceptions about nutrition that I would like to clear out first before I even start showing you any recipes that I like or talking about diets in general, on some of the diets I have done, water therapy, detox diets, intermittent, intermittent fasting, carb cycling. Yeah, there's so much to talk about when it comes to food and the best nutrients for our body. But today, I'm going to be talking about a misconception that a lot of people have regarding weight loss. Now, some people say that it's 90% food and has nothing to do with your workout or just very little to do with your workout. I personally don't believe in that. I believe it's almost a 50-50. I started with working on my weight in terms of fitness and workouts before I jumped into, into the nutrition part of um, my fitness journey. So it's, it's, there's no one rule. So um, I would advise that you do what you're comfortable with. Of course, you need to be on a good diet for you to be able to see excellent results, for you to be able to see lasting results, and for you to also be able to have a, more, a better and improved lifestyle. Because there are a lot of things you eat that has very little nutrients. So of course, you know, in terms of nutrients and eating the right food, then it's good to be on a diet or having a good diet for you to be able to lose weight quickly and also look great. So um, definitely that's why food is part of the X that form a lifestyle shift. But one of the misconceptions that I have um, faced a lot recently is that I constantly have to be on a diet to look the way I look. Now, that is a misconception, right? A little bit about myself. I started my journey in 2015, right? And for that period, for the first year of when I started, which was in February 2015, yes, I had to be on a strict diet. Now, for only that period of about a year, that was when I maintained the diet. Now, I would say for the first six months from February, I was on a very strict diet. The reason why I was on a strict diet was because I wanted results quickly. I wanted results, I wanted results immediately. So because of that, I had to keep a strict diet to be able to see results and for also, the purpose of my body getting used to the kind of food I had to start eating to live a better life. So for the first six months, I would say I was on a strict diet. I started off with a carb cycling diet, which I did for the first six months. And after I did the carb cycling diet, I moved into intermittent fasting, which is something I still practice to date. Now, this is where the misconception comes into play. A lot of people believe that you have to constantly be on the diet for you to lose weight or to maintain the weight you have lost. This is incorrect. After the first year that I was on a strict diet, I haven't been on a diet anymore. I basically eat every and anything that I want. Please pay attention to this. Because this is one of the reasons that a lot of people are scared to jump into a weight loss program or they are scared to change their lifestyle because they believe that it's a death sentence. If I do this, that's it. For me to remain looking great, I have to forget eating everything, anything, and just be on a diet. This is a complete misconception. I am not constantly on a diet. Now, why I decided to talk about this is because I have been getting so many comments regarding that. Even from the people I train, even my clients, they see me and they say, oh, I'm sure you don't eat this. Oh, I'm sure you don't eat 
that oh i'm sure you don't eat anything oh i'm sure you are constantly on your diet no way no one can live like that it's not sustainable so i want to clear that from the minds of all of us and most of us who think that you have to constantly be on a diet to maintain the body type. If you have been able to reach that body type and that weight you are comfortable in, then you enter what is called a maintenance state. And when you are on a maintenance journey, it becomes way easier than a weight loss journey. Now that's why I always tell my clients to put in the work Put in the work, get to that body type that you want, get to that weight that you want, and the maintenance state and stage is as easy as possible. Trust me, your body is so intelligent. It is so intelligent. Your brain controls your tongue. And what you, what you have practiced for a period of six months to a year, your body has gotten completely used to it. And what that means is that you'll be able to sustain yourself and be able to be on a good lifestyle without you being constantly conscious of what to eat. That's the message I have today. I need you to understand that when you move from the weight loss state, and you go into the maintenance stage, which is where I am presently in, then it becomes way easier. It becomes so much easier to keep the weight. I can't just wake up tomorrow and because I ate a full bag of chips and I ate a lot of cake, I'm going to put on weight the next day. It doesn't work like that. Your body is extremely smart. I'll give you an example. There was a day I had so much cake to eat. It was my son's birthday and I had a lot of cake to eat. By the next day, my tummy was a mess. It was a mess because I, it, it's no longer used to having so much of that. And because of that, the next day I, I, was, I, I had to drink a whole lot of water to just clear my system and to feel better. So that's one thing you need to understand. If you decide to do a lifestyle shift and you decide to eat the right food and be on the right diet, then your system gets used to it. It also doesn't mean that you can't eat those carbs and eat those things that you like to eat. Trust me, you'll still be able to eat them. Even when I was on this strict diet, I still had what I called my cheat days. And during those days, I would indulge in a lot of things that I do like to eat. But I didn't gain weight back doing that. So please, if we are so afraid and thinking that being on a diet is so much work, and if I don't do it or if I stop, I put the weight on back again, it's not as straightforward as that. It's not a one-line style. It doesn't work like that. You might need some guidance to be able to know how to transition from a, 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 a strict diet into a regular lifestyle. And you might need help in knowing the right food to eat when you are at that strict stage. There are a lot of fabulous, good nutritionists out there. And if you're also interested in having me as a nutritionist, and you want to get information directly from me, send me a message and we can work something out. I feel that having a lifestyle shift is a decision that we all need to make. Don't be scared about it. Don't think you will lose yourself. You will only gain more. You will only look way better than you look right now. And you will definitely look younger than you look right now. I remain Lika. And I hope you enjoyed listening to this and I hope it was helpful as well. Do have a lovely day. Remember, as I would always say, please subscribe, hit the notification button and tell your friends about my channel so we can have more people subscribe. Thank you and do have a blessed day.